TII Technical Education Systems, Teaching Technology for Tomorrow. In this video, what we're going to show is how to locate where your Siemens TII, TIA Portal V114 or 13 programs are going to be saved. And we're going to show you how to begin to open up a program, the start of using TIA Portal uh, V114 or 13, the steps are the same. So we're going to go to My Documents first. And you may want to talk to your instructor about where specifically um, your computer is set up to save the, um, the Siemens programs, the TIA Portal V114 programs. In mine, it's in my personal folder, my documents, and all mine will go to automation. And as you can see here, the folder is empty. So I'm just going to go ahead, and if I wanted to, I could make a new folder here and label this. Um, label this with my name and this would allow me if I have multiple people programming on the same computer to each person to have their own folder so I'm just going to put all of my stuff in a folder with my name on it such as teacher so I'll close this out I'm going to open up the TIA portal v114 for the first time now this is a pretty powerful program so depending on the speed of your computer it, it can take a while for the program to open up so just be patient with it once it's opened up, what we're going to do is we're going to come over here to Create New Project. And it will automatically assign it a project name. We're going to refer to this one as Unit 2 Project. All right. And this will be the name that it will be referenced to in the documents as well. Now notice the path here is set it up basically to my personal document account, that automation folder that I showed you. Now I want to take it a step farther in here, so I'm going to click here, and I'm going to scroll down to my documents, and I'm going to go to where my automation is. And then I'm going to click here on Teacher and hit OK. And now this, I know it will create the new project folder for my uh, TIA, TIA portal into this folder particularly. Um, here's the author right here, so if I want to, you, you might want to put your name on here depending on if your teacher requires that or not, and put that in there. Now comments, can you can do a lot of different things with comments as far as putting your personal thoughts on about where you want the project to go, or um, issues of you know what the purpose of the project is. For this we're just going to leave it blank and I'm going to hit create. Now as it's creating this project, there are there's a lot of things happening in the background of the computer, so this can take some time. So just be patient with it. All right. Now, at this point, we are ready to start creating our PLC project. But that we will do that in a in a future chapter, but now let's just go through and verify that our folder was created. So what we'll do, come down to My Documents, go to the Automation, go to the Automation folder, go to the Teacher folder, and here is Project 2. This is the project that I created, the Unit 2 project. So I will open this up, and you can see all of the different files that are incorporated into that project. And if I wanted to later on go and open my Unit 2 project, this is, the, this is the link that I would actually click on to open up a saved project, which you will have to do a couple of times in the future. All right, that's it for this unit. Um, if you are going to be doing Unit 3, please go to that video and open that up. And uh, at this point, we can go ahead and close everything out here. And... Hope this helped with your uh, unit uh, 2 uh, TII project.